What's up, Leo? Welcome to the channel. My name is Robin and this is Aries Fire Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Um, Patrick, if you're watching, I'm just going to say hi from Mummy. Okay, so my son is a Leo um, and I, I actually send him a link to every video that I create. So anyway, um, I hope you're watching. Anyway, guys, this is your July finance reading for Leo. I hope it's a good one. It's going to be a general reading though, so keep that in mind. Uh, hopefully it resonates with every single one of you, but if it doesn't, take what you can, you know, and leave the rest for another viewer. What we're looking for generally in a finance reading is pentacles because pentacles is this, the suit that represents cash. So when those comes up, those come up, it's going to be a good reading. So I'll use the Gilded Tarot. I'm also going to clarify the cards with Starman Tarot here for you. Um, I started using two suits, two cards, decks, yikes, um, in readings a little while ago. And it turns out it's my favorite. So I'm probably going to keep doing that um, using different decks. The, the cards can have different meanings in the different decks. And I just get different vibes from different decks. And let's stop saying different. And I'm just about ready to start doing your reading here, guys. Thanks for your patience while I shuffle and do the intro. All right. So July 2019 finance. Let's see what we got here. Leo, this is a great card for you. Um, you know, fire sign. We've got the sun. Sun shining brightly down upon you. Growing everything in your path. You know, you've got everything circling around the sun here. Just really stunning here. I'm just really getting a strong vibration from that card, but let's just keep on, like I can't take my eyes off of it. Hmm. Three of Swords. So Three of Swords signifies some sort of pain. Um, you guys could have had a financial bind recently or in the past. It, it clears up though. I mean, when you have Three of Swords, it's not going to be lasting forever. You could have had an argument with somebody about money. You could have asked your boss for more money and got told um, to get lost. You know, um, something happened about money, some sort of little spat, but it's going to clear up. You've got six of cups here. Um... I like to call this the, the flashback card or the, the karma return card. Something is going to come back around for you. Some sort of opportunity or person. Could be for some of you um, where people owe you money. They could be finally paying you back, which is nice. I think it's so uncool when people like borrow money, but really you're, it's a donation. Annoying. So, um, And then we've got the Eight of Swords here. So for some of you, you could be trapped in sort of a um, prison of your own thoughts. Not sure what that might be related to yet, but let's put Gilded Tarot to the side. I'm gonna tilt the camera angle down so you can see the cards and we'll bring on Star Mad Tarot and we'll get deeper into this, okay? One sec. Okie doke, I'm back. I've got the cards here for you. Um, just gonna shuffle the star man a little bit. I'm really interested to see what's going on with the Eight of Swords. You have a couple swords here. Uh, I think you might be retaining some pain or some, you know, negative thoughts about money here. You could be still kind of angry at somebody that took advantage of you financially. But then you have, some, like, it's like you have the dark going to the, the light. And it's exactly like in the Three of Swords card, if you can see how it's really dark and stormy at the bottom, and then it works its way up to, like not quite blue skies, but you can see it's gonna happen. Fascinating. So I'm gonna start and see what's going on with the Eight of Swords. Like what is it that you're stuck? You know, and the thing about the Eight of Swords is you can obviously, you know, you're not bound tightly you know, you can t reach up and take that blindfold off and you can wiggle your way out of this thought prison. You know, the swords are about thoughts. So it's like you put barriers around you. Maybe you're holding people back. Ace of Cups. Okay, so 
what's going on with these two together? It's a very interesting combination. Because this, the Ace of Cups is about a new beginning. But the Eight of Swords is not able to see it because you're kind of st stuck a little bit. Is that too shiny? I hope that's not too shiny. Um, I actually need to pull another card here because it's confusing. Then you've got the Prince of Swords. So the Prince of Swords is, it tells of a bit of a, a delayed news coming in. So it looks like you do have a new opportunity here. Let me try this. I don't know if that's any better, but you can let me know. Um, you've got a new opportunity coming in, but it looks like you're sweating something that happened in the past. Um, so that's why it's taking so long with the Prince of Swords. So what's going on here? Like what, what was the drama? What really ripped you? Because taking three swords to the heart, it's not a joke, you know what I mean? But if you look in the center of the heart, it has the sun, and this card is aspected right underneath the sun. So it's like, I feel like a little bit of your power was drained away from you. I think you really were trying to help somebody, and you did not get thanked. I think some of you worked really, really hard on something and expected some sort of monetary um, gift or bonus and it didn't come in. You're really, uh, I'm going to say pissed about that, but it's going to clear up and you're going to get back to yourself here with the sun because sun rises on Leo. So we have the Two of Cups. So whatever happened here with the, the Three of Swords, your little argument, it's going to resolve. It's going to blow over. You've got the Two of Cups, which is about people, um, you know, reconnecting or taking their relationships to the next level. So whatever your fight was about money, you're going to be able to let it go here um, because you do have Two of Cups. So that's a good sign. And then when this happens, Ace of Cups can happen. Let's see what's going on with your two, um, your cards up here. So you've got a lot of cups. You've got the Six of Cups, Two of Cups, Ace of Cups. So you've got a lot of emotion going on here. I think you're feeling very strongly about money, but then you have the swords. It's like you're really almost in balance about, about them, but you need something to tip the scales away from being caught up in your head too much about this situation. Like if something already happened and somebody sort of, you know, with the, the finances, if it's done, like what are your choices other than to move on? So we've got the tower here. I think some of you have not actually confronted the person who still owes you money or promised you a raise and didn't come through. I'm, I'm seeing that somebody did not come through on their promise. Um, and that is what is really, really getting to you here with, with Three of Swords. This is what is annoying you. You know, um, they're just totally avoiding the fact that they, they left you hanging. There's no explanation for why they just kind of dropped you and they did just drop you. And you're like, uh, yo, dog, like, where's my, where's my payback? Like, where's my increase? Where's my this? But something is definitely going to happen. And I really don't think that this tower is related to you. I think the result of someone else's tower moment, somebody's going to have a realization um, and you could be the impetus, you could be the reason why I think you're, you're being Mr. 
you know, nice guy or, or you're the nice girl and not saying anything, but it's twisting you up in the game, right? You're just, you're letting it eat you alive. You might just actually be dropping a hint here and say, um, remember the time when I did such and such for you? Or somebody could be coming back to you and saying, oh, hey, I really need some help here. For some of you, it could be a roommate. Like, it's just somebody's not pulling their weight financially and expecting you to pick it up. And they're going to try it again. And you're going to give them a little piece of your mind, right? And it's going to make you feel better. I don't think it's going to make them feel better, but it's going to change the way they look at themselves. And it's going to give you a second opportunity of going back around Ace of Cups. And then we have the Queen of Cups. So the Queen of Cups is not the most delicate flower in the deck, in the Starman Tarot deck. Um, but she is very powerful at kind of keeping her head up when there are storms. She's got a lot going on underneath the surface, which I think is what is going on here for you. Leo, you've got a lot going on underneath the surface. I think you're you're sort of taking the hit here where I think somebody else, I mean, I want to say deserve it. They kind of deserve it. They're, they took advantage of your kindness here, but you do have... You do have the sun coming back around. You've got something coming back around. Something that evaded you in the past. Or some sort of debt that is owed to you. It's coming back around. It's like you've taken another trip around the sun. Karma. Flashback. Something's happening. Something, something major. I'm going to keep pulling cards. Yeah, definitely. Something is just about to end. This cycle that you've been in, where I really just get the feeling that you're not going to be allowing people to take advantage of your kind heart anymore because you have such a great big heart, Leo. But you've got the Ten of Swords, and this is the end of it. This is the end of being underpaid, of like extending generosity to people that just no longer appreciate it or reciprocate it. You know, you've, you've been holding this in. I think I've seen this for you guys before. If you haven't watched my Leo videos, it's like you guys, you know, you're way too strong. You're a fire sign but you're so kind and don't let it like put you in a place with the eight of swords where you don't want to be nice to other people because not everybody is going to treat you like this and take advantage of you and screw you over but it could it could like you you have to like drop the hammer on whoever whatever the situation is it's got to end and it's going to you know, you've got the Ten of Swords, but you're going to be the, give me a word here. You're going to light the fuse that, that blows that situation up here. And this is going to happen for somebody else. It's going to happen to the person that is doing this to you. I mean, they're not literally going to blow up, you know, they're not Wile E. Coyote, you know what I'm saying? But they're just going to be so stunned when you just say, I'm not doing that for you anymore. You know, you're going to have to pay your own bills or it's about time you paid me back or I am not working any more overtime unless you pay me for it. It's like you guys are just going to stand your ground. And you need to do that in this situation before you get into a place where you don't trust anybody else anymore. You know, Queen of Cups, she's really just, I'm just seeing sort of a surface here. And underneath, there's all this sort of like trauma and drama for you guys. And it's because of somebody else. It's not even your crap to deal with. You're taking somebody else's crap on board. And that's not cool. 
So, wow, we have temperance card. So if you guys are, are going to approach a situation, you really just remember temperance. You know, she is very calm, cool, and collected. She measures everything she says with cool calmness. So just remember that when you go, you know, you don't literally want a tower moment. You just want to push somebody either away or push somebody in, into repaying you and once you get all that cleared up here's your opportunity here ace of cups this is what you want to come in like look at all the darkness in these cards you know um and then there's the light for you right ace of cups with this nice cool calm beautiful like lotus blooming and the sun like you want to come back around to the cycle where you're drawing all this in and you have it here with the six of cups you can make this happen i think you're gonna have to ignite the fuse though and i just want to do another shuffle and i'm gonna pull one more card for you you have a really interesting reading here you guys um I just, I just see somebody is using your money as their own or using your time as their own. Hang on for a sec. Okay, we're up here. So I'm going to pull one more Starman tarot card deck. But I also just want to give you guys a piece of advice. Like, um, you know... <sighs> I used to work all kinds like extra or I'd log in early and, you know, do extra work. And then I got up to a point in my life, I was like, if you guys want me to work overtime, you have to pay me for it. I don't work for free anymore. And I see that is happening here. You're doing something for free and it's starting to like eat at you. So yeah, you're going to make that stop and you need to just do it now. Because Seven of Swords is like, you feel like somebody has gotten away with something of yours. And that is your cash, your time, your heart. Put a stop to it, you guys. And then Seven of Pentacles. So when you do this, this is really pivotal, pivotal for you guys. Um, when you do this, you can start planting the seeds for your future. I think you really, really want to tell this person off, kind of set them straight. You've been holding it back because maybe that person, they're having a really hard time, but you're at this point where you just think you're no longer responsible for them and you kind of want to cut them off, but you're worried about them. But at the, at the same time, they see them, they're just sucking the life out of you. And, and, just cut the cord, you guys, and then your future can really start for yourself. You really have to focus on yourself and give what's left over to the person that needs help instead of giving them everything first and then having you last. And, and then you just feel like crap. Guys, you have a lot going on here, but you're going to have to drop the wall, cut the cord, whatever it takes, move along. Um, you know, most people are capable of helping themselves. So, um, yeah, very, very interesting reading for you guys. If you want to plant the seed, you need to cut the cord. Whew. Boom. Guys, I'm going to wrap it up here for now. We'll see you back next time. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.